great so i'm back again with another integration and this time it's currently so now you guys will be able to just accept payments right in the chatbot itself let's do a quick walkthrough of how this works so this is my current it contains my previous integrations as well this is my test chatbot let I just try out my integrations on it contains Cadently and file uploaders as well if you haven't watched my previous videos about integrating Cadently into voice flow and uploading files into voice flow chatbots I would link them in the description and you can check it out let's focus on stripe at the moment so this is a custom action and it includes a simple name over here plugin stripe and i am handling it in my custom code over in the react chat so let's see how it looks on the front end and this is my chatbot over here Welcome, uploader currently in line, currently pop up and stripe. And let's see how stripe looks. Still loading over here. So that's it. So, what you do is let's try adding a test card right now. Let's go to developers grab a test card from here to make sure our integration is working fine okay, this is a card that would be accepted and it is copied let's right jump back over here and this is pasted expiry would be any valid date and cvc would be any valid number and let's just pay them out so when i click on the payment it tries to process the payment and as soon as processed it would let me know successfully paid 10.99 let's confirm if the payment is has gone successful successful or not so let's head back over here in the payment section and you can see right now this is my current payment of 1099 that is succeeded over here let's try it out with another card and that would require an additional authorization like a 3d secure card so we know how my integration is working over that let's reset this meantime Let's grab a different card for now. So this card over here, this would require, require a 3D authentication. So let's try out this card. Space number, any valid date, any valid number over here. Let's just click on payment. It tries to process and it sees that it requires a 3 authentic authentication. So it pops out this window. And currently it is like simple test payment page, but it would be from actual bank. Let's just complete it. And once it's completed, it would get reflected over here as well. Let's wait while it's working. And yes, it's successfully paid. So there are a couple of applications that I had in mind before building this integration. The first one, I was seeing a lot of people trying to build out persona bots and they wanted to restrict access to those bots in terms of payments. What they wanted was allow only paying users or there should be a, they, they thought there should be a way where the users can just come in and buy some messages over there, buy some tokens. To chat with your chatbot or to chat, chat with your persona so this stripe integration would allow them to do it very easily the second application that i had in mind was e-commerce i am seeing a lot of bot builders making bots for e-commerce brands and answering faqs nurturing the customer 
providing them enough information to persuade them to buy the product and if we have buying the product right in the chatbot as well we could train our intents as soon as we as soon as the chatbot thinks the user is more likely to buy we just off provide them this link to the product and as soon they can just input their card details over there and make a purchase the third thing the third application i had in mind was for onboarding the new clients for agencies for companies and all other purposes so there are people that are there are board builders that are building onboarding chatbots and this payment integration would be a key integration for them so they can just accept payments right into their right in from the chatbot and don't, they don't have to send the user away from the chatbot so this would not only save enough time for them more time for them but also provide a more immersive user experience also i would as usual i would be available for queries for comments feel free to reach out to me on discord as well i would provide me provide a link for the my discord in the description feel free to reach out to me also let me know what other integrations you would like me to make and because i would love to make them for you guys